everybody. I've got some journals to share with you this Friday. I got three. And I'm going to start with this one. Um, I've been making a lot of stuff these last couple weeks trying to refill up all my boxes and containers and stuff for stuff to use to make journals. And I made several new things. These little flowers are new. This one measures seven and a quarter by four and a half. And on the front, I've taken some different fabrics and sewn a, a vintage button on there. And these little things are new also. Um, it's just pieces of lace put together. The cover, I love this, it says Coleman's Mustard. Um, is is a, is a vintage picture of a lady shops window shopping um, in the old store, which I really love. And it's done in an eyelet fabric. It's got some stains on it that were originally there, and um, and some ephemera behind. And the strap is also made out of the eyelet fabric. And going inside, this is one of those books that um, if it was on my table, it went in the book. So <laughs> I do that a lot. It helps me clear off my table and it comes up with some unique stuff. So here we go. Uh, this, the eyelet inside cover is the eyelet cover also. And then I used another piece of fabric for the pocket. This has got uh, another flower with part of a crochet doily and some little coffee dyed lace flowers behind it and a little doodad up here. And this is several fabrics with a, a, a little safety pin, a little cutout here. Um, and it's an envelope and I, I usually slice them here but I did not. But this is for you to uh, store things in if you need to. Over here got some French writing. Let me pull these out. Just got a pocket here. Uh, from a French book that I have, a little dandelion, and the stitching is done in a, um, oh, I'd say a coffee color, like a coffee latte color. <laughs> Got a pocket here with a seam binding flower, and a little image there with some fabrics. And these two cards go in there. Got that little piece of string there. And these go in here. And then this paper clip holds these two things. Um, I just added a little piece of lined paper that's been coffee dyed. I love using these things. Um, and then a little image here with space for writing on the back. And let's see if I can do this. Of course I can't. That would be too easy. Easy. I want the dandelion to show. I'll put you there. On this side, we also have a double pocket. It's made out of a book page. It's got some cheesecloth and some coffee dyed lace. And, oop, nope, you come out. I almost pulled that off, didn't I? Ah, this is a booklet. Um, got two little images, some cheesecloth, little stamped image there, and several sheets of paper. And then these, it has a pocket in the back and a pocket in the front. Over here is a flip out envelope. This is, you know, if you need to store something, it's also open uh, here. And then it opens this way and it's got some uh, coffee dyed papers for writing. And then this side has a pocket and it's got a little booklet in it. So again, because sometimes these things can be confusing, you got a place to write here, it opens up this way, you have a place for storage, and then it opens up this way and you have a place for writing in a pocket here. Um, and then you have a fold back paper here for extra journaling and extra journaling here. Uh, this is from a 1949 uh, newspaper that I have, and I just cut out the little articles and add it, and then this is um, an image there, 
And let me see, is this a pocket behind? I don't know. It's been a while since I've looked at this. Because I make them like, and, you know, storm until I'm ready to do a video. You've got writing here. You open up. No, but you could tuck something behind there. You really could. Um, these open up. Got a nice little image here on some striped paper. I'm really liking it. If I could find fabric with that beige and ivory stripe, ooh, I'd be buying it up. Little ticket there. Some pretty papers. And then you've got some lace here at the bottom coming from the other side. Got a little flower there and a little flower there. Got some fabrics here. So all that opens up. Got some lined paper here. I try to make just different places um, to journal on, you know. I mean, to add things so you, when you write in your journals, you can have some fun. Different spaces instead of just having one solid page to write on. I mean, that's like this. I mean, it's good too, don't get me wrong. But, you know, I like to have some shapes when I write. So you would have like an L shape here. Got some, I cut up some uh, words out of a flower book that I had. And this is about lemon balm. Tells you how to take care of it. Got some fabric here with a little collage. And the stitching, more stitching here. A little bit of cheesecloth and an image. Got some lace and some stitching and some fabric and some cheesecloth. A little cute bow with a little piece of fabric. This is from a vintage um, newspaper book that I have. And this, you've got a piece of coffee dyed paper here. This postcard. And then this opens up. Let me put that back before I forget. There we go. This opens up for storage. And this opens up for writing. And you can put an image here. All you need is a little bit of glue. And you can add your own things. And personalize it. Got a tuck spot here. You could write on that. And a tuck spot behind. Some laces and a flower. I don't know about y'all, but it is hot hot where I am. Burning up. And I got the air going and everything. It's just fighting a losing battle. Got um, a envelope pocket here with a card. A bunch of cheesecloth going on and a little flower image. And then put that there so I can get it back in the right spot. Little image and cheesecloth on the back. And then you've got a space here for writing. And stitching, more writing. Another place to put an image. And the stitching running down the side. Got a little pocket here with a little gate and some roses. And um, some pretty paper for the background. On this side, I'm loving this organza lace that, well, it's not lace, it's just organza. Um, that's sewn into the pretty ruffles. I'm really liking that. And you got a little tuck spot here. That's an address in Shreveport. I don't know what's there, but it's an address in Shreveport. Got some pay, uh, book page in the back, and then you have two places to journal on top of that. Got a little tuck spot here um, with some chocolate colored lace and just two little scraps that I had. Told you, if it was on the table, it went in. And a, a little card there, a little fuzzy here. And here we've got a tuck spot with a card. And another card behind, I like the two birdies together. On a piece of book page, and this is um, actually a um, postcard. And then just some a little collage of things going on. Another pocket over here with some cheesecloth and an image of a castle with some different fabrics on that pocket. And two cards, 19, 1960 Campfire Girl stamp. Not the real one. <laughs> Here's the image. 
Sometimes I do use real stamps if I can find them at estate sales. Got a pocket here made out of an old hanky, a gentleman's hanky, and some cheesecloth and an image. And then you've got a pocket in there. Some little pretty stuff. Fabrics and doodads and whatnot. Back in there. Get back in there. There we go. Um, some more fabrics and music paper here. Kokomo. I, I know I've said this in another video, but when I was a kid, oh my God, I used to love that place. They would, because they deliver to your house. And um, they would, uh, they made the best onion rings in this entire world. I mean, here it is. Okay, I'm going to date myself. 55 years later, and I still remember them. That's how good they were. Little places to write here and collage. Just little, little images. And then this is the back side. Little torn out piece of paper there. Nice page for writing. Some fabrics going on here with a stamp. And an angel stamp over here. Um, this is out of that garden book. Flowers. It's got lot of, lots of writing, but it's got lots of neat stuff in it, too. Um, some muslin here with some brown lace. I love this page. You know, I'm a list maker, so I, I love... Being able to, you know, make any kind of list I would want on them. Another uh, piece of that ruffle with a that came out of a tag off my pillow or something like that that I just bought. So I cut it off and saved the number. I thought it was, you know, we find weird stuff when we're thinking, you know, out and we think, can I put that in a journal? <laughs> I know y'all that make them have done it. Got a pocket here. And a little mini pocket up here with a little mini card. Got a tuck spot behind this with a card. This is French. Got a place to, you can use these for dates or labels or, uh, you know, a thought of the day, whatever you wanted. A little booklet here. And then this lifts up, and you've got all this. Nice image here. Who remembers Wilco? I do. Lots of lace. Little tiny mini pocket here. I thought it'd be cute to put one of your images there. This opens up. And this opens up. And then you've got two places there for journaling. A little... Place. Oh, look what I did. Mmm, telling. Okay, I'll just leave this open. Um, you could write all the, all of this stuff. You got some muslin here, part of a crochet doily, a little flower. And then the back is the same as the front. Oops, except for this fell off. I know I put that in. Oh, I removed the paper clip to get the other thing out. Okay. I knew I wasn't losing my mind yet. Um, but it's got the crochet and the flowers. And then I put this card in here. It's actually a writing um, card. So if you have bumpy bumps and you don't want to... Uh, I saw a perfect page back here. What did I do with it? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, I lost it. I lost it. But anyway, if if you come across a page that makes that has something behind it, you can stick that right there, and you can journal, which makes it easier to write on, I have found. I can't tell you how many times I've pierced my pen through paper. <laughs> but, you know, like here, this is kind of roughly, and it's a pocket. Oh, y'all, I saw movement out my backyard. I didn't know I had my back door open. It was Sammy Joe. Scare me to death. Thought, what critter is in my backyard? And it's got the little doodad up here. Okay, so I'm going to leave this open. But I'll show you the front and the back again. Got that real pretty image on the front with a bunch of flowers. And here and here. And then the eyelet cover. I want to thank everybody so much for being here with me today. I've got two more coming up. 
I'll see you shortly. Bye-bye, everybody.